The global number of confirmed cases has toppled 59 million. The U.S. accounts for a fifth of them, with more than 255,000 Americans dead. Some European countries also managed to avert a disastrous infection spike, which started a few weeks ago, by imposing lockdowns and strict mask mandate. But experts fear the coming holiday season could make things worse. China is also facing new challenges. Cases emerged in different areas of the country. Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region, cities of Tianjin and Shanghai have reported in total 22 new cases. There's also good news. The WHO noted the leaps in COVID-19 vaccine research with encouraging trial results. Earlier, I talked to some leading medical and pharmaceutical experts in the field. They give their opinions on vaccines development and how winter season may post another challenge to containing the pandemic. Let's listen in. Do we have international standards that would tell layman people like me, what are some of the qualities that one vaccine must have before I agree to have it? So can you tell us more about that regarding particularly COVID-19? You know, it's just, not just uh, particularly for COVID-19, any vaccines. You know, you have to ha fulfill those three conditions, safety. Okay. You got to make sure you got, you know, everybody been uh, uh, injected, they got a safe stuff there. And then efficacy, mm. you make sure you know, I'm being vaccinated, you know, it's, effects, it's uh, efficacious for me, you know, to prevent anything, you know. A third, quality control. Make sure you and me, we were vaccinated with the same quality of the products. Mm. So, safety, efficacy, and quality control. Every step of the way, we see new challenges. Mm -hmm. For example, Professor Gao, whether the virus mutates, at what speed, you earlier touched on that, but that will be the key issue yeah. about whether vaccine we're developing today will still be eligible mm -hmm. for us once they developed and produced. Mm -hmm. uh, Professor, what do you think? Yeah, well, everybody's worried about the mutation. You know, obviously the virus is mutating. As far as uh, the, the knowledge we have or the data we have at the moment, we don't see any mutations at the moment, you know, they would have any effect for the vaccine under development. There's no evidence. A lot of the Chinese cases, uh, if you look at back at some of the latest events related to, um, for example, the seafood market. So there creates a debate about whether frozen seafood or imported frozen seafood has anything to do with what we are facing today. Because, you know, this debate is based on the fact. The fact is the fact. So you know, that's very important. Cases and they originated from some seafood market or mm -hmm. some, you know, meat processing factories. Right. So it looks like the virus, the COVID-19 virus, it will survive for a while or dormancy for a while in those areas. You know, very humid and especially for some, you know, extremely humid and low temperature um, mm. uh, uh, environment. So it looks like like that. So we are doing. Uh, a lot of work for that to try to trace back. So where does the virus come from? So that's very important. Any new development on that? Um, we are still working on it. You know, for example, why I, I call in China, we all have five waves because the virus from Wuhan and the virus from Beijing, Xinjiang, Dali and northeastern countries, when you do the genetic sequencing, the genomics tells you they are different. I so see. because they are different, this is why I call it five waves. When you talk, you are talking about you know those um, humid uh, seafood uh, market. So it looks like so there's some direct link mm. there. Of course, you know we cannot get any conclusion whether or not the virus is transmitted through the food. Mm. No, there's no direct evidence and no solid data yet. But that's the environment would help the virus replicate, help the virus dump. Uh, there. When you are talking about the differences in genome, are you talking about strains or are you talking about specific genome designs that existed there? Yeah, it's strains. 
all clades, you mm. know. Why do you, you know, coronavirus um, is not like a flu or any other virus. They, have, they, have, they are very diversified. Coronavirus in general is very conserved. Mm. It's not that as uh, diversified as the flu. So only, you know, trace amount of the difference. But by doing the NGS or, you know, next generation sequencing, yeah. you can identify the difference among different origins of viruses. This is why, you know, you look at what happened in China, we can see the difference for the virus. Another thing is, if you look at the global issue, Professor Gao, very sad, I would say. Yeah. What kind of dire situation are we really facing as a human being today regarding COVID-19 now? Oh, well, you know, when I was asked some question like that, you know, why we are in culture in such a covered or, you know, looks like could, very clever virus. You know, the virus has a lot of hidden characters. If you take all the knowledge we know about the virus, you know, this virus tells us mm. or teaches us a lot of new knowledge. So, you know, that's exactly, you know, if you borrow any knowledge, you know, take any knowledge even from flu or any other like SARS, MERS. Mm. So this is a totally different virus. I, when I say different, totally different means the characteristics of this virus. So, so this is why, you know, the human beings, we have to, I call the quote, dance mm. with this virus. You know, while we are controlling this virus, meanwhile, you know, we have to learn from this. So this is why I call the, the relationship between mm -hmm. the virus and the human beings. We are seeing the winter time coming and flu season certainly already with us. And we have seen the rise numbers of flus uh, in China and elsewhere in the world too. So how complicated will things be? Yeah, certainly uh, uh, we're getting into the, the winter season of flu and other, you know, coronavirus actually, uh, those uh, uh, respiratory uh, sort of uh, uh, diseases actually uh, may get actually worse. Uh, uh, and actually again, the, the winter uh, temperature and, and actually uh, people's uh, uh, behavior actually uh, uh, typically will not really help uh, you know, the COVID pandemic situation. Uh, so, uh, again, uh, I think uh, the advice actually uh, um, uh, from uh, healthcare uh, experts really um, uh, getting the flu vaccine early, especially for, for elderly, for, for high risk uh, population, mm -hmm. uh, having sort of a, a, a flu uh, vaccine actually uh, taken uh, would actually alleviate a hospital uh, burden. Um, and those actually uh, would be uh, some activity uh, we do now. About the availability vis-a-vis -vis the necessity, how do you see this relationship? Yeah, that's actually a very important question because, uh, I mean, I think the situation is really due to, in the past, uh, the flu vaccine actually is not really widely uh, used during the, the winter season. That's why uh, uh, the developers and manufacturers uh, are actually uh, have not really uh, prepared actually to really manufacture a large sort of amount of uh, um, uh, large amount of vaccine actually for for the winter uh, mm -hmm. season, uh, but now actually uh, in in the pandemic situation, uh, uh, COVID nineteen pandemic situation, uh, there is actually increased uh, needs uh, of uh, flu vaccine. Uh, certainly, in a short uh, time, actually, it's hard for those manufacturers to scale up uh, the the flu vaccine. Uh, manufacturer, I think this is again, um, uh, it's, uh, it's the situation uh, we're facing now. But certainly, um, uh, uh, each government, uh, each country actually uh, would really uh, 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 look into this situation mm -hmm. and really uh, consider and prepare for the future uh, flu vaccine uh, manufacturers. Mm. Uh, how prevention and control can be done through uh, the use of antibody? Yeah. Uh, um, I mean, uh, again, sort of uh, uh, the trial, uh, the neutralizing antibody trial data, as well as our, our, our understanding of 
uh, COVID-19 disease uh, is really uh, in the early stage of the disease. Mm. Uh, uh, it's mostly driven uh, by the viral replication during this early stage when patients still uh, exhibit mild to moderate disease symptom. At this stage, actually, uh, neutralizing or stopping uh, viral replication uh, could be most effective. That's where actually we see, you know, remdesivir, this antiviral drug from Gilead, and also uh, more recently, you know, the neutralizing antibodies effect. However, as a disease actually uh, progress actually from, you know, mild, moderate to severe situation, the disease is no longer uh, driven by uh, the viral infection. It's mostly uh, due to uh, the, uh, our host immune uh, uh, system over uh, reaction, overactivation. Uh, so, so that disease uh, condition uh, would need to be treated actually by other uh, by other uh, medications. Mm. Uh, so, in terms of actually uh, controlling the, uh, the the virus, uh, again, the importantly, uh, early identification uh, of the the infection is important, and and at such early time point, actually. Uh, treating the, uh, the infected individual with neutralizing antibody, with you know antiviral drug remdesivir, uh, as such, uh, um, actually uh, could be really uh, more effective, useful uh, in terms of controlling uh, those patients not progressing through into the the severe situation. I think that's uh, uh, that's that's really the promise. We've seen the numbers uh, in the United States, for example, and in some of the European countries, uh, spiked. So what kind of situation are we facing right now? According to the WHO uh, Director General, he talked about sacrifice for prevention and control. Again, um, uh, 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 I think one reason uh, is perhaps uh, um, we're really getting into the cold, uh, you know, in the northern hemisphere, we're really getting into the uh, sort of a cold uh, temperature, uh, uh, again, uh, sort of how this virus spreads and also how people behave actually uh, may really contribute uh, to this uh, uh, sort of a spike. Uh, and also, you know, um, people gotten used to sort of, uh, you know, the situation. Uh, so it's, I think especially mm -hmm. such difficult time actually uh, emphasizing on on physical distancing and uh, and the mask wearing actually um, uh, is really uh, important.